Now, time for Hard Talk. Welcome to Hard Talk. I'm Stephen Sacker. The Central African Republic is a failed state long ignored by the outside world. But looking the other way is no longer an option. The lives of hundreds of thousands of civilians are at risk thanks to an internal conflict which has exposed religious division and regional tension. French and African troops are trying to stop the killing, but the Central African Republic's people are paying the price for decades of misrule. My guest is former Prime Minister and Opposition Leader Martin Zegele. Who or what can save his country? Martin Zegele in Paris, welcome to Hard Talk. OK, thank you. Let me ask you this. As a senior politician in your country, a former prime minister, how do you feel when you see many hundreds of thousands of your fellow citizens forced from their homes? You see hundreds killed and you see your country on the brink of humanitarian catastrophe. What are your feelings? I am, I am very sad, you know, I am very sad uh, about the situation in my country. It's a situation of chaos. Many people are dying every day. Many people are suffering, women, children, and so on. And the economic of the country has collapsed. And that is all the, the matters you see when you are in face of a, a failed state. And uh, I'm very sad, I'm very concerned also but I do think that we will struggle to build our nation in uh, the few months coming. Is, is that the way you see it? Do you really feel that your own country, the Central African Republic, is a failed state? Yeah, Central African country is a failed state because, you know, uh, it's, and it's not from today. It's uh, ten or more than 10 years ago. Uh, the country was running very, very bad, you know. And uh, what is happening here uh, today is as a result of some bad decisions, bad political decisions. And I do hope that, uh, as I put it before, I think that with the intervention of uh, African forces and both French forces, we can restore peace in the country and rebuild the country in, 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 uh, uh, yeah. on some uh, proper uh, foundations. You, uh, you talk of the intervention of outside forces. Of course, there are now, what, 1,600 or so French troops in your country, uh, thousands more uh, regional African forces in your country as well. I remember that back in uh, March of this year, you actually praised President Hollande for not, not intervening. So how do you feel about the French presence now? No, the, the situation is not the same. You know, the, I think that the, the first responsible of the situation of our country is former President General Bozizé. When he asked for French intervention last March, it was in order to save his same regime, his same family, his same power. But now, it's not, uh, the intervention is not for a regime, not for a leader, not for a ruler. It's to save souls, uh, souls, to save people, to save children, to save wives, to save a country in a whole. Yeah, but Mr. Zegele, Mr. Zegele, I understand your point, but surely the truth is this, that you were so keen to see former President Bozizi overthrown that you told the French not to intervene, and as a result, we have seen hundreds, maybe thousands of people die, and hundreds of thousands of people forced out of their homes in the fighting that has continued from March until now. Do you not feel a sense of responsibility for that, given that the French could have intervened earlier if you had advised them otherwise? I would put that very clearly that we have fought as a political opposition party to make negotiation between the last power, uh, the former power of President Bozizé and the coalition of Seleka. We have put all our energy to put out Libreville agreements, you know, last January, to have a political agreement. 
and the political agreement signed in Libreville allows General Bozize to remain in power for three years, for three years, from 2013 to 2016. And he refused to apply the decision made in the agreement. And then in March, when battle re, uh, 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 was fired again, was the fire pu was put again in the country, he asked for fresh intervention, not, on, not to save a political process, not to save a country. It was only to save his regime. And I repeat but that. I'm not, I, I don't feel guilty because we fight to a political issue yeah, but of the conflict, but he refused to play the, the game. Well, you, you pile all of the blame on President Bozize. The truth is that because you were so keen to see him removed from power, you tacitly supported this group, the militia that you call the Seleka, who have proved to be uh, killers they have proved to be the sorts of people who are prepared to engage in crimes against your people. And I wonder whether you are happy to live with that. No, I think you are, your presentation of the situation is not the good one. You know that the rebellion was started in December of last year. When the rebellion starts at the northern part of our country, my party and the opposition party they write a letter. They write a letter to the President Deby, who was the leader of the communi uh, co uh, economic community of Central African State, to push on a political issue to the rebellion. And we have been to Libreville only to ask for a political issue to the rebellion. So what is happening is why, when we come back in Bangui after this, the, the agreement, Libreville agreement, Bozizé refused to apply the decision of this agreement. He has chosen to, 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 to keep on uh, making war with Seleka, and he lost. It's not the, the, the responsibility of a political party, of my party, or of or, or the political but party. Let, 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 and let he me, refused. Yeah, I don't want to make this too complicated for people around the world who are trying to understand what is happening in Central African Republic. But, but what we have right now is a president mm. Uh, Jatodja, who was put in power by the Seleka militiamen. And I want a clear yeah. opinion from you on the Seleka. How do you regard these fighters who say they are fighting for uh, a Muslim cause? They seem to be primarily Muslim fighters. Do you regard them as a legitimate force or do you regard them as hooligans, thugs and murderers as many in your country seem to regard them? In all countries in the world, when people take guns and take power, they are not legitimate. So Seleka is not legitimate. They come in power by force after struggle with the former uh, power in our country. It's why when they took power last March, we, play for, we, uh, we, we, we pledge for a political uh, agreement. And it's why the CRC and the African Union, they set a meeting in uh, Jamena, Jamena 1, Jamena 2, and then after in Brazzaville, they set on a transitional uh, 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 scheme of, uh, of sharing power between a government, union, a national union government, uh, as a Seleka as a, a head of provi uh, um, provisional head of state and a provisional uh, a national assembly. It was, it's set, it set up. And we are now in a transitional uh, a period, a step to go to elections, and I, 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 I clearly, I clearly put out that Seleka is not a legitimate power. They are not legitimate. But you, hang on, you just told me, you just told me that the Seleka should have a role in this transitional government. If they are illegitimate, why should they have a role in this government? The decision is not made by political parties in the Central African Republic. I am putting, I am explaining that after the coup of March. There was a meeting in Jamena. The meeting was hosted by Chad and, uh, uh, and uh, uh, managed by the President Deby of Chad and with the African Union, with uh, 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 Mrs. Zuma. And President Zuma of South Africa was there. And they have decided to keep on the spirit 
of political agreement of Libreville. And they agree to put on a transitional power with three heads, a provisory national assembly, a head of government of transition, and the country led temporarily by Seleka. You if a decision Mike made by head of state it's not political parties. It's yeah. not my party. You, uh, you talk about all these processes, the Libreville meeting, the N'Djamena meeting. You make it sound as though the politicians in Central African Republic have some sort of ability to influence and control events. But, of course, that is not true. We see on the ground that the president has no real authority. The people who have authority are the men with guns, and that is... Uh, the Seleka militia, which, as I say, is primarily Muslim and increasingly also Christian militias who describe themselves as the anti-Balaka militias. It seems as though your country, in the words of the French foreign minister, is sliding towards genocide. Is that the way you see it? Some sort of religious-based, hate-based internal war?